हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज badly a week after the cyclone tote battered the west coast india is bracing for yas which is expected to hit eastern coastal areas of odisha and west bengal on may 26th a severe cyclonic storm cyclone yas which is bearing down on the bengal and odisha from the bay of bengal will make landfall near the balasor coast in odisha 240 kilometers from kolkata on may 26 noon with a thunderous wind speed of 155 kilometers per hour to 165 kilometers per hour next 12 hours are extremely crucial for indian states odisha and west bengal which has braced for the impact cyclone yas which is predicted to make landfall sometime on the wednesday afternoon on odisha has intensified into a severe cyclonic storm. The Indian Meteorological Department says that at the time of landfall Cyclone Yas is likely to be in a very severe cyclonic storm category with the advent of the storm rains and gale force winds are expected in northern Andhra Pradesh Odisha West Bengal Sikkim and tidal waves up to 4 meters of the height are expected over the west bengal and odisha coast as the storm approaches however some experts suggest that since the storm has been formed closer to the land it won't get time to travel much longer and may not be that powerful Even if the degree of the landfall severity may drop the vast population in the path of cyclone yas is cause of the concern the maximum wind speeds from yas whose name is furnished by the oman's meteorological agency are expected to touch 125 kilometers per hour lower than the recorded from tote which landed at the gujarat coast nearly the earlier this month and was categorized as extremely severe cyclone which is only one category lower than the highest super cyclone grading on the weather agency's cyclone grading scale the coastal districts of kendrapada and jagat sipur in odisha on monday received very heavy rainfall accompanied by the gusty winds and high tide under the influence of this cyclone yas which is expected to make landfall on the straits coast on wednesday the local office of indian meteorological department on monday alerted saying cyclone yas would cause rain thunderstorms intense lightning and gusty winds across the bihar from may 27 to 30th while bengal will avoid a direct hit several of its district that is east midnapur west midnapur jhargram bankura and purulia falling within the core of the area of vyas are likely to severely affected each of these districts may receive heavy rain accompanied by very high wind speed kolkata is likely to see heavy rain on tuesday the intensity of the rain is likely to go up on wednesday as the storm nears the land the city is also likely to see winds blowing at 70 to 80 kilometers per hour with the gust of 90 kilometers per hour around the time of landfall the mat department said Cyclones in Bay of Bengal are not unexpected in May and result from the increased ocean surface temperatures. Climate scientists say the Bay of Bengal where cyclone Yas was formed is at least 2 degrees warmer than what is normal for this time of the year. The North Bay of Bengal is exceptionally warm with the temperatures up to 32 degree temperatures. Distance of landfall is short preventing it from the drawing that energy and intensifying into the extremely severe cyclone. Generally, cyclones in the Bay of Bengal are ferocious and cause significant devastations. Cyclone Amphan was a super cyclone that ravaged West Bengal in March last year. It was the strongest storm that hit India's eastern coast since the super cyclone of 1999 that struck Paradeep, Odisha. Before Amphan cyclone Fani in 2019 also hit Odisha causing immense damage that lasted weeks. Researchers have pointed to trends that suggest a relative decrease in the number of cyclones in the bay of bengal and a rise in arabian sea about 60% of the cyclones that form in this seas make landfall in the india causing damage and devastation according to the data from the earth sciences ministry 
The Indian Meteorological Department had first warned on May 19 the likelihood of the formation of Vyas even as Taute was still to completely abate from the landfall over Gujarat. Meanwhile, we are extremely happy to announce that we are organizing an online webinar on Zoom application to celebrate World Environmental Day on 5th of June. We have professionals from diverse fields who would be speaking on the topic of environment and climate change. To register for this webinar, click on the link below in the description. Do not miss your chance to learn from the experts. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Hena Talati. For more weather updates like this, and please subscribe our channel.